Thank you for staying with us. You're watching The Winning Post, powered by Delton Casinos, in association with the Serum Institute of India. Now, there's lots of factors that go into training a racehorse, and one of the most important ones is nutrition. With that, there are various kinds of feeds, some made in India, some that are brought from overseas. What separates one from the other? What sets them apart? Let's have a look. A thoroughbred racehorse sometimes runs at speeds of close to 60 km an hour. Usain Bolt's top recorded speed is approximately 50 km an hour. It is no doubt then that a racehorse is as much an athlete as any world-class human athlete. Like all athletes, racehorses must produce one thing – performance, and it requires heaps of energy. While racehorses certainly have a requirement for other nutrients, diet formulation for them usually begins and ends with energy. The feed from my time, earlier days, used to be protein-rich feed. Now today what we do is more carbohydrates. Because if one realizes carbohydrates is high energy. High energy is what is required for running. So you have to keep up with the modern times. Now we get imported feeds, half imported feeds. We get uh, local good Indian feeds, which are manufactured here. Basically, you have to see that the ingredients are well balanced. It doesn't matter whether it's foreign, the oils are correct, the proteins are correct, the carbohydrates are correct, the trace elements are correct, the minerals are correct. These are the basic factors. Whichever form you get it in. I have just taken a license four years back and uh, in this short term of my training, I have come across that feeding takes a very important part in horse racing where the health is concerned, the fitness is concerned. In the wild, horses survive by grazing grasslands. Today's race horses energy requirements that cannot be met by forage alone. And equine and training has six basic nutrient categories that must be met. Carbohydrate, protein, fat, vitamins, minerals and water. Besides these six, there are also supplements and feed balancers that are sometimes added depending on a horse's requirement. Remember, uh a horse's natural feed is not what we give them. Their natural feed is grass and uh, hay, which would, uh, normal wild, they would have been eating that. The today's feed has been modified for the running horse, who's running in a race. I suppose you are what you eat. And uh, if you are an athlete, like any professional athlete, he has to be fed on a diet which actually has to be fed to an athlete. High protein, carbo carbohydrate loaded, oils, Fruits. Besides the how and what of feed, the frequency of feed is another important factor. The food helps to restore energy loss during workouts and races as well as combat fatigue. The right feed at the right time also helps to keep a racehorse fit, healthy and in prime racing condition. No, usually we feed them three times a day. It all depends unless the doctors told us a certain horse need a four feeds a day then it's fine. Otherwise it's three times a day. and. The same goes into preparing a horse when it's running or not. Only on the day of the race, he just gets a morning feed, that's about it. And just like one human being's nutritional need will differ from another, the same goes for race horses. And it depends on the trainer to decide what combination of the six nutrient categories will suit which horse. And of course, there is a lot of improvement in the feed from the different uh, companies have come, which has improved a lot from oats to name the imported brands which are in the market today and one trainer has to decide which is good for which horse. Is the trainers call on that. Some horses are fussy about some feed and which they don't like it and we have to monitor it and change into some better one and that's how it works and if the horse is liking and enjoying his health is good, he gives you the best result. In India, race horses were trained on a steady diet of natural Indian feed which included forage as well as cereal grains. These days, however, with the advent of new technologies and the introduction of foreign feeds in the market, there has been a definite shift in horse nutrition. Foreign feeds or manufactured feeds are formulated specifically for race horses and are also fortified to meet all nutritional requirements. See, it, it depends on your budget. If you are a trainer who has a budget, the easy way out is taking all these track talk, you know, and uh, the, there are a number of foreign feeds in the market which you can use and uh, wherein you don't need to add very much once you use those feeds. On the other hand, if you are a trainer with a restricted budget, you feed Indian style 
and uh, I don't see seem to think it gives you bad results. Otherwise, in the last one year, I would not have finished third on the tally in Pune and second on the tally in Bombay, and I am with a restricted budget. Well, today there are a lot of feeds that have come into the market. We still use our oats, which are Indian oats, but actually they're imported from Australia. And with that, you mix a foreign feed, or you get a balancer, you mix the balancer. But at present, I think Indian feed with a mixture of foreign feed is suiting the horses, and they're doing well with it. In India, see the trend is that we still like to use our Indian feed. Uh, train S S Shah, for example, he won two derbies on Indian feed. And there are people who are using foreign feed today, who swear by foreign feed. But I still feel that because in India we don't have much of a labour problem, we can still make fresh feed every day and give the horses. I think the horses enjoy that feed a little more. Foreign feed is a little more fattening. As a matter of fact, I'm pro Indian feed because I personally feel that uh, we get to mix the right combinations, buy something from one place, buy a mineral from one place, buy other supplements, mix them all together as per your needs. Well, in India, we still don't have the fashion, what I saw abroad, that you could customize your feed. You can say, give me uh, a mixture, more protein, less carbo. There's no one doing that. So what you can do it yourself. In India, there's no labor prop. So I think we should be able to do that always. While it is difficult to determine whether a particular type of feed is better than another, what remains certain is that each horse is unique in its requirement and it depends on the trainer to determine what course to follow.